Iran has fired over 120 cruise missiles, 30 ballistic missiles and over 170 drones on Israel. However, not a single missile or drone has hit any target of significance or has caused any harm. So this brings up a big question. What kind of missiles does Iran have? And why none of them are able to hit their targets? Did the missiles miss their targets deliberately fearing a backslash from Israel and US? Or the quality of missile itself is bad? Let's find out. Iran today has one of the biggest missile programs in the world. It all started with the Iran-Iraq war of the 1980s. Iran found that it could not strike many targets in Iraq due to lack of suitable missiles. So after the war, Iran launched an ambitious missile program. But there was a problem. After the 1979 revolution, Iran came under severe economic sanctions. No country will sell any kind of weapons technologies to Iran. So Iran started with reverse engineering of the Russian Scud B missile, which it had in possession. Before moving deeper into the subject, let me explain the types of ballistic missiles. A short-range ballistic missile has a range of 300 to 1000 km. Medium-range ballistic missiles have a range of 1000 to 3500 km. Intermediate-range ballistic missiles have a range of 3500 to 5500 km. Finally, ICBM or Intercontinental Ballistic Missiles have a range greater than 5500 km. Medium-range ballistic missiles and above carry only nuclear weapons due to the high cost involved. By 1985 to 88, Iranians developed a local copy of Scud B. This missile is called Shahab 1. Shahab was a short range ballistic missile with a range of 300 km. This was soon followed by Shahab 2, which had a range of 700 km, and Shahab 3, which touched 1000 km range. But the Shahab missile series were liquid fuel rockets, hence, were complicated, delicate, and expensive. Also, liquid fuel rockets can be fueled only after the missile is set on the launch pad. This is time consuming and hence delays deployment. Added to the long deployment time was a poor accuracy of the Shahab missiles, which had a CEP of over 2500 meters. All the missiles were guided by inertial navigation system. Iran collaborated with both North Korea and China for its missile development. In 2009, Iran announced the development of a new missile variant called Fajir. Fajir is a medium-range ballistic missile with 2000 km. Moreover, Iranian government announced that Fajr carries MIRVs or multiple independently targeted re-entry vehicles. MIRVs gives the ability of avoiding anti-missile surface-to-air missiles. It's not known how effective the Iranian MIRVs are. Iran then started building medium-range ballistic missiles like Shahab 3A, which had a range of 1300 km, followed by Shahab 3B, which had a range of 2000 km and could carry a heavier warhead. At 2000 km, Iranian missiles are now reaching parts of Russia, China, India, Egypt, and parts of Turkey. Iran's next ballistic missile is called Ghadar. Ghadar 110 is a medium-range ballistic missile with a range of 1800 to 2000 km. Ghadar missile is a two-stage rocket with a liquid fuel first stage and a solid fuel second stage. Compared to Shahab 3, Ghadar had a higher maneuverability and a setup time of 30 minutes. In November 2007, Iranian Defense Minister Mustafa Mohammad Najar announced that Iran had built a new missile called Asora with a range of 2000 km. According to Jane's Defense Weekly, the Asora represents a major breakthrough in Iranian missile technology as it is a fully solid fuel rocket thereby having low setup time and deployment. According to Jane's Defense report, Asora missile was later renamed Sejal. Also, Pakistan Shaheen 2 missile developed at the same time bears many similarities with Ashura. However, there is no evidence of cooperation between Iran and Pakistan. On 10th October 2015, Iran launched a new missile, the Imad. The Imad is capable of delivering nuclear weapons and has a range of 1700 km, enough to reach all of Israel and Saudi Arabia. It is considered to represent a great advance in accuracy with a guidance and control system in its nose cone that functions during re entry into the atmosphere. By 2017, Iran developed another medium-range ballistic missile called Kuramshar. This missile is the Iranian version of North Korea's Hwang Song-10 missile, but with a reduced range of 2000 km. The range was reduced to not cause concern in Europe. According to Iran, this missile has MIRV capability. On 10th November 2022, Iran announced it had built an advanced hypersonic ballistic missile called Fatah. General Amir Ali, an IRGC commander, said the missile has high velocity and can maneuver below and above the Earth's atmosphere. 
He said it can breach all systems of anti-missile defense. Iran's missiles are guided either by inertial navigation systems or satellite navigation. The inertial navigation systems uses gyroscopes and accelerators to track missiles' positions and velocity relative to the starting point. In this method, the missile takes a predetermined trajectory and hence very easy for Israeli interceptors to take them down. The inertial navigation system is complex, but it's not jammable. Second is satellite navigation. While Iran has no navigational satellites of its own, it can use satellite navigation systems of Russia, which is called GLONASS, and Beidou satellite navigation system provided by China. Satellite navigation is very accurate, but is prone to jamming. In satellite navigation, a minimum of four satellites is required to guide the missile to its target. If one of the satellite link is jammed or lost, the missile will lose its position and land in another place. This is dangerous. Looks like Iran has not used satellite navigation and rather used only inertial navigation, which is why all their missiles were intercepted. It looks like Iran did not want to escalate the whole conflict and bring upon a full-fledged war which might topple the Islamic regime of Ayatollah. If you like this video, please subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.